All right, gang, so in the next video in our series and course, we're going to talk about the AAA model. Um, we're going to talk about authentication, authorization, and accounting, and the differences between those three. Let's get straight into it. So authentication. Authentication is just ensuring that you are who you say you are. And there's a couple different factors, a couple different ways that we can figure that stuff out. All right, so we can authenticate you through one factor or multiple factors. So example of factors can be passwords, pins, biometrics, and biometrics would just be something that you are, right? So that could be an iris scan, that could be a fingerprint scan, so on and so forth. Or it can even be a hardware token. So a hardware token can be a ID badge, um, an access badge, stuff like that, right? So just understand that when we're talking about authentication, it's a couple different things. Multi-factor, multi-factor, meaning it's going to use multiple factors from that list. It's going to be something the user is, something the user has, or something the user knows. Password, something that you know. Your fingerprint, something that you, not say that you is, something that you are, something that you is or something that you are or something a user has would be um, an ID badge or an access badge. Make sense? So multi-factor is going to use two or more of those uh, standards or those protocols. So multi-factor would be something that you know or something that you have. So you would use your password and you would use a badge. Or it would be something that you are and something that you have. So you use a fingerprint and you would use your badge. Or you would use so on and so forth. Make sense? So understand that a password and a pin would not be multi-factor a password and a pin would not be multi-factor because a password and a pin is something that you know so that's only one factor make sense all right so is has knows something that you know something that you are or something that you have make sense so we went through all authentication, proving that you are who you say you are. Then authorization is once you actually gain access after we actually identify and make sure that you are who you say you are. So authorization uh, is gaining access to a system, device, service, or data once authenticated. So when you talk about permissions, right? When you talk about permissions, you always want to use the model of least privilege. So there's a couple different models. Role-based access, meaning on what your role is, depends on how much, um, it depends on how much permission you have. Mandatory access control, discretionary access control. What I want you to get out of this slide though is that no matter what you have going on, the pinpoint, the thing that you need to remember is once you become a system administrator, once you become the boss of all bosses, you need to always give people the least privilege. All right, so that may not make sense right now, but let's clear it up. So you give people the least amount of privilege for, to do their job, right? So if they just need read access, just give them read access. If they need complete ownership, then you just gotta give them complete ownership. But don't go the lazy route and give people full ownership or full control when they don't need full control. Why is that? Why do you wanna give people the least privilege? I don't think that the janitor should say have the same permissions as the um, head IT tech. Makes sense because different people have different responsibilities. So if you give too many permissions to the wrong person, they may by accident delete the wrong thing or on purpose delete the wrong thing or move the wrong thing or move things. So you want to always apply the principle of least privilege to minimize the service area of attack. Meaning that, like I said, a lot of times users do things by mistake or by accident. Sometimes it's malicious. So just give people the amount of access that they need. So if they work in human resources, they probably only need access to the human resources files. If they work in finance, they probably need the access to just finance, right? Or if they need access to human resources, they probably don't need access to certain files in the human resource. So as a system administrator, you can create groups 
uh, and then put people in groups and everybody in that group would have the same permissions just to kind of uh, make things a little bit easier for you but when it comes to permissions don't be lazy but always use a principal least privilege because it's better to give people not enough privileges and then find out oh, okay maybe I need to give them a little bit more maybe I need to tweak this maybe I need to tweak that then to give them way too many and they didn't delete some or install something or just did something crazy that you kind of can't come back from make sense okay so you went through authentication which is approving who you are, authorization, actually giving you access after we prove who you are, then accounting. So this is actually, once you actually are uh, authorized and you own access, got access and you own the server or you in the server room or you own the website or you doing whatever you're gonna do, this is actually pretty much tracking you and accounting to make sure what you're doing, when you did it. So if there's any changes, we can figure out, was it you, was it somebody else, was it a system, what's going on, all right? So accounting, like I said, monitors and tracks what you do after you've been authorized access. So with this, um, as far as troubleshooting goes, you can go through logs and see, okay, at 8.59, you logged on, and then at 9.15, everything blew the hell up. Let's see if it was your, if it was something you, you did or if it was just something else. Um, then like I said, you can actually track people too. Um, like I said, that's another thing. Let's say that you give, you did give too many permissions to somebody and they log in at nine o'clock. At 9.05, this file disappeared. They was the only one that was logged on, so it had to be them, all right? It's pretty much um, deducing that, okay? It had to be you because you were the only person that was on the network at that time. Makes sense? So we just went over AAA, um, which is authentication authorization and account. I almost forgot my damn self. No, I didn't. But um, uh, this is really simple. Uh, may have been seemed like it was a little complex before, but um, authorization, authentication, accounting. Well, uh, actually in a reverse, authentication, authorization, and accounting. Authentication, you already say you are. Authorization, let's give them access to what he pulls up access to. Accounting, let's look at what the hell you're doing after we actually gave you access. 